I'll be the first to admit that Bloodborne isn't something I usually pick up, but there was something about the cover art and the fact of it being based on Lovecraftian horror that convinced me to give it a shot. After clawing my way through, I'm not sure what's scarier, the insane difficulty or the monsters you end up facing. I may be joking about the difficulty, but yeah, Bloodborne is not for the faint of heart. If you don't let your games to have a steep learning curve straight out of the gate, Bloodborne is probably not for you. That being said, this game is made by From Software, aka the same people behind Dark Souls, so it's not as if the difficulty is of the cheap variety. It's all about learning when to be aggressive, when to stay on the defensive. That being said, Bloodborne is also a different beast from your average Dark Souls game in that it's a fair deal more aggressive, swapping out your shield for a firearm. you think that having a gun might give you an easier time, and yeah, it kind of does, giving you a means to stagger enemies, but it also takes away your main method of defending yourself, meaning that you have to be a bit more liberal with your dodges and flanking, with the key to survival being able to keep moving and pressuring enemies as much as possible, exploiting any weaknesses and creating your own openings in order to survive. As for the setting... Well, the game does not disappoint. The lore is a little tricky to piece together, hey, this is technically a Dark Souls game after all, but what's immediately apparent is that a play created by beings called the Great Ones has unleashed disease, madness, and monsters into the gothic town of Yharnam. As a hunter, it's up to you to slaughter the monsters and potentially kill a few eldritch gods using a fair amount of gruesome looking weapons. And when I say eldritch, I mean eldritch. Take a look at this thing. It's called Murgo's Wet Nurse. Who or what Murgo is and just why it needs a wet nurse is beyond me, but just look at that thing! That thing's horrific! Even the non-Great One bosses have some interesting and gruesome designs to them, typically taking the form of either corrupted hunters or giant gothic monsters. Or in the case of Father Gascoigne, both. The aggressive nature of the fight and the general difficulty and even the difference in power and occasionally scale sometimes makes it hard to tell just who is supposed to be hunting who here. And honestly, in a game like this, it just adds to the whole experience. If you're a fan of From Software's other titles, it's definitely worth a shot. 